Wake Up Now team, Jason Elrod here, and welcome to this week's Inside Look. This week I'm sitting down with Gerald Wilhite, three-time Super Bowl player, eight-year NFL veteran, and one hell of a good guy. Gerald? Hey, thanks, Jason. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Good. Everything's better in Cancun. It's always good in Cancun. <laughs> well, this week I'd like to sit down and talk to you about leadership and, and kind of where reflect on where we've been over the last year. Well, we've been exciting. It's been fun. Um, we're creating leaders every day. We're, we're understanding what um, this industry is all about, and it's rises and falls in leadership, and I think that's where it's really working for us, that we're creating more and more leaders. The persons with the most leaders usually win. Well, you had impressed upon me one thing when we first sat down and talked, and, and that's that you're an integrity guy. And integrity is something that's really important to us. And when you're looking at a company, and you've been you know around great leadership in your throughout your NFL career, also in your network marketing career, you understand what leadership means. What what does integrity and leadership mean to you in a network marketing company? Well, it means trust. I want to be able to trust you. I want you to be able to trust me. I want to not have to look over my back or, you know, something's going to change or you're going to do sleight of hands. I want to know that you, I can trust you and I'm going to give my all and you can trust me and you know I'll give my all. So it's, it's kind of like a partnership. It's something that, you know, it's like a marriage. You don't want to, to not trust them. The integrity, you got to be transparent. And I think that's what transparent and leadership and trust is all about for me yeah so as i said you spent eight years in the nfl what are some of the leadership things that you as a as a captain of the denver broncos what are some of the leadership traits that you took out of the nfl and how do you apply those to your network marketing team and help build young leaders well it's about overcoming adversity it's about integrity it's about leading by example you're sharing the leadership ability to me was is lead by example. I mean, if you, you walk to walk, you got to talk to talk. You know, if you talk to talk, you got to walk to walk. So it's like, if I tell you to do something, know that I've done it. And I wouldn't do anything I wouldn't tell you to do. So, you know, that's what leadership is all about for me. So you, you say let leaders lead. How, how do you build leadership? And then how do you then turn them loose and let them lead in the fashion that you would like them to do and, and teach them how to do what you do successfully because you don't want to reinvent the wheel right right the system's not broke don't fix it exactly what i do is i try to let them be who they are but when i said let leaders lead meaning use your personality be who you are be very transparent be authentic you know but follow our guidelines we have rules we have a system that works you apply what you know and your own personality to it and then you might do things a little different than i i'm not saying i have the right and that know all the answers or I have the right way I'm saying here's the basic and you can put your own little spin to it but be who you are and be very authentic okay you've done a, a really good job of building a young vibrant group in this company and you've learned from that group and you've taught them a lot and the thing that really has impressed me is that you're able to continue to learn even though you're the you're the veteran in the group how have you done that? What are some of the things you've learned from your guys? And then what are also some of the things you've taught them? Well, I taught them stability and, and I taught them commitment and becoming a student of the game and really understanding what you're doing, understanding this industry, understanding the product, understanding the company, understanding their vision, their mission statement and what they're all about and vice versa. Then we have to understand you. And when I say understanding you is where you came from or what you want to do or what's your goals. What is your why? Why do you want to do this business? You know, what do you want out of this? And we try to help you get what you want so we can get what we want. So it's kind of like a partnership that it's a marriage and so you know we have to give and take from both each other but we've got to learn from each other new blood is the lifeblood so we know you guys are our future so I have to learn a lot of things that you guys are doing but yet I want to show you so I can reduce your learning curve so you don't make some of the mistakes that we made on the way up yeah one of the things that impressed me we were sitting down and you told me you know what I've never done a three-way in my career I don't believe in three ways but these young guys have taught me how to do a three-way and I've seen the value of it so you know what I'm not too proud I'm gonna start doing three ways yeah, well, I started doing three ways because I'm watching these young guys and they're having great success at it. And it's what they're basically doing is saying, I'm going to put somebody above me and say, here's the expert. I'm going to tell you about this program, but here's an expert that's basically like a closer. And so I enjoyed it because it became a challenge. I tell people I can close nine out of ten people. That's because of three ways. Because when I get in there and somebody show them the basics, I come in and give them the facts. And I show them the transparency of why we're doing what we're doing and the success we're having. And so I'd say you lead by example. And so we try to do that every day. Yeah. Well, three ways aren't exclusive to the network marketing industry. I was doing three ways when I was a young man in the real estate industry because I worked my tail off. I had great people around me, but 
I was a 20 year old guy. And so I had to give myself credibility sometimes by saying, Hey, this is my business partner. This is what he's done. And it's amazing sometimes how that'll just open a door and he'll tell you the same thing I just got done telling you. But for some reason, people need reassurance sometimes that you're working with somebody that's been there, done that. And three ways can be an amazing thing if they're done right. Yeah, I mean, you have to edify them. You have to edify the person that you're putting on three-way with and let them know that they're the expert. They're the ones that's going to change and more. You might say the same thing, but they hear it differently from somebody else. And I think that's what solidifies a three-way for me is I might be telling you one thing, but you know me. You've heard from me. To me, you might be going wah, 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 but you hear from somebody else and we're talking the same language and it kind of solidifies that, okay, he is telling me the truth because I heard it from somebody else. Yeah. Business really is all about trust and relationships. And so not only have you been uh, a network marketer and done it at a very high level, top 20 income earner in one of your other companies, but you've also owned small businesses. You've also had success uh, inside football, inside network marketing, outside in the, in the restaurant industry. Talk about how as an entrepreneur that's helped you in your career and, and what you've been able to do in, in other arenas outside of network marketing and football. Well, I think it's basically the same principle. Your work ethic, your commitment, your overcoming adversity, and be willing to change and be open-minded to look at other things and just kind of say, you know what, the same principles I applied in football, working 6 to 8 to 10 hours a day, being the best that I can be at that, I apply the same principles in network marketing, the same principles in my restaurant, and then I want to give people good service and, and good leadership and, and become friends with the people. Understand that they are human beings. You care about them outside just business. You care about them as the person or a family or a family member or a team member so we kind of it's they're the same all we do is reinvent ourselves become relevant care about people and just show them what we know well i get the opportunity to sit back and watch how everybody builds their business and i made the decision to become active in the field because we want to know what's going on we want to be able to build that great company that we want to build and this is a longevity game for us we're we're here for the long run we've committed i've i've moved to utah uh, Kirby and Phil and I are partners. We quit doing other deals that we were doing to do network marketing, to do Wake Up Now because we believed in the vision of what we can create long term. You also believe in that vision. You've told me you'd like this to be your last company and uh, you want to do things the right way. That's the only reason we're here. That's the only reason we're going to, way we're going to do it. So you can build a, an organization in several different ways. Some people I've seen get in, they try to build it as fast as they can. They don't train. They don't do personal development. They don't use the product. And in part, there's a lot of attrition in some of these organizations. And as a whole, not necessarily in our company, but you see different ways and different people build. You don't go as fast as you can. You go as fast as possible doing it the right way. And I want you to talk to some people about that because... I think this will help several people as they build their business, understanding what longevity means and being in business and building that legacy organization within the company. Everybody talks about a legacy company, but you need to be a legacy organization within that company if the company is going to do that. Well, basically what I believe in, your foundation. You build your foundation strong, it will last forever. But if you build it fast, as fast as you put them in, as fast as they'll go out. So what we try to do is train them. you got to be trainable, teachable, and coachable. And what we try to do is coach them to say, okay, this is what we do. We're going to tap root down. We're going to help your people become strong. And so they're not paying anymore or they're making $600 a month because as long as they're making money or they're not paying, they'll never quit. So we build strong foundations and we, and we start from the bottom up. So we don't care about the people at the top. We're putting how many people at the bottom can we get? to six hundred dollars that's why we came up with the 600 club is the basically saying hey that's our benchmark if we can get you there we did our part now you have to do your part so it's a partnership and i think that's where corporate has really really adopted this situation where they talk about the 600 club they don't talk as much about the global they talk about the 600 club because we know the average person is not going to get the global but we know the average person can get to six hundred dollars a month that's a seventy two hundred dollar raise and that's very important in this business yeah well, and the, the other thing you guys do is you get people using the products early. And, you know, not everybody's going to make money. But all you got to do is give them an opportunity to, to succeed. And I think we've given them a great opportunity if they want to work hard to get to that 600 club. But the products are important. You told me sitting down one time, you go, you told me, I said, you said, I've been hit really hard in my career, but never as hard as I get hit by the IRS. I love this tax spot. 
That's correct. I mean, that's what hit me the hardest. Most people say, Joe, who hit you the hardest? I said the IRS. They hit me in my wallet where it really hurts. But now we have tax bod. Now we can be compliant. Now we know and understand how money really works. And we can make the money, but can we keep the money? And that's what we're doing now is teaching people how to keep the money, how money really works. Because saving money is making money. And I didn't understand that when I was younger. Yeah. Keeping it's the, the important part. You can go out and you can do a lot of things to make money. But at the end of the day, will you have that longevity that we've been talking about to keep that money? And most people don't ever think about budgeting or looking at what they're spending. They go out and blow it all and then figure, wake up one day and say, wow, I didn't pay taxes. And I guess I should have done that. Yeah, well, you got to be a product of the product. And we're giving you 450 tax write off through tax bonds. But you have to understand it. You got to read it. You got to be it. You got to live it. You got to walk it. You got to talk it. That's what tax bond is all about. But it gives you the power to understand how money really works. So we're here in Cancun on a leadership event. We did our first one uh, back in June of 2013 with your team. And uh, I think we had about 11 people there. We have 42 here this week. And it's been amazing to watch some of these people that have been built up through this organization and the things that you guys have been able to do in instilling leadership and, and building great people. Talk about that for a second. Well, we started out with 11 leaders, and now we're about 40 to 42 leaders here today, and we're going to be 80 to 120 the next trip we have because we, the most, again, the most people with the most leaders win. Most companies with most leaders win. So we try to be more than just the company. We try to become family. We show people that we care. We try to help each other grow, and this becomes like a think tank for us where we all of us come together, get great minds in one place, and we share ideals and thoughts and what works and what doesn't work, and we kind of help each other become better and we do some uh, healthy competitive things that kind of help everybody in their leadership abilities and one of our our models is we build leaders we don't pay leaders here and so we've been able to build a lot of good leaders from within some of which have never been in the network marketing industry before some of which have but what they've done is is pretty remarkable in the amount of time that they've been able to do it in well yeah there's some guys who like i said are very intelligent very creative they think outside the box and that's what we need we need dreamers the world needs dreamers this company needs dreamers people that can be like um visionaries and that's what a lot of these young guys are visionaries they, they have an idea of how the market has changed society has changed and what people really want you know there are eyes and ears to the public you know like i said the youth is our future so watching these guys do what they do and they bring an element that maybe some of the guys are my age or in their 40s and 50s and 60s have forgotten you know they got that hunger they got that eye of the tiger you know they work from eight to faint you know and they teach us a lot about life but yet we can teach them a lot about how to pace yourself you know you can sprint but you recover you sprint but you recover you work hard and you play hard and that's what this is all about but when you play hard be responsible yeah well one of the things that you brought to us is you have a passion for travel. You have a, a history in travel, and you brought the Wake Up Now Vacation Club escape trip concept to us. Uh, you helped build the culture around it, and you touched on this a minute ago, but why should somebody come to one of these escape trips, and what will they get out of it if they do be, besides having a good time? Well, it kind of gives you a chance to mingle with some other leaders and mingle with people and become family and care about each other outside of the business and so you see each other you talk to each other you network with each other your network is your net worth and so when you can network with people and we always say teamwork makes the dream work and that's what this is all about creating a synergy and a camaraderie about teamwork we work with each other we like each other we like hanging out with each other we look forward to the next escape trip to get together again and become family and that's what we all do we share this enthusiasm and this common goal that we're all trying to get to global or we're all trying to become better in life or support for our family or find out what your why is and then you find out you find other people who got the same why as you or got a bigger why and it makes you up your game. Yeah. One of the things you, we were eating breakfast this morning, you told me that you were sitting down with a leader last night and they had met other leaders that were willing to fly out to their city to support them and vice versa. And that was something they got on this trip. They didn't have that relationship before they showed up here. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what I said. When you start working with each other and seeing each other and you find out you have a lot of in common, you have like-minded people together, then you want to help each other. But then it opens your world. We all live in a fishbowl. Some people have never been outside their city. Some people have never been outside their state. Some people have never been outside this country. Well, now they get it. And they see why because there's a whole world out there. And if you network with more people, again, your network is your net worth. You never know who you might meet in Mexico. So then they have a big team and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We're sitting here in Cancun, Mexico, and at this beautiful resort. You brought this deal to me. We've taken a look at it. You're the kind of guy that 
I know when you bring something to me, it means something to you. You're passionate about it. You believe in it. You believe it can help our company and help what we're doing, not only for the value, but help people build business their business with it as well. Take a second to talk about the Cancun card and where you see it going. And I want you to share how you're going to share it with your team, because that to me was powerful. You're sitting there explaining to me how you're going to use it. And I want you to tell everybody else out there uh, so they can take a look at how you're doing it. Well, Cancun's a beautiful place, and it's a beautiful place that people want to go. A lot of people have never been to Cancun, Mexico, and this is gorgeous. And I think our Cancun card is going to basically give you a tool to hand somebody in their hand and say, hey, we care about you for joining our team, but we're going to give you something, and we're going to create value. The value is the key to this thing is you create value, so when somebody joins your team, you want to be able to give them a Cancun vacation of five days, four nights. That shows them that now they're part of a team, now they're part of a lifestyle, and where people can really enjoy themselves and kind of, like I said, give you a chance to, chance to enjoy the beauty of Mexico, but yet understand you work hard and you play hard so when you come back you reboot it yourself you hit refresh and you're going back to work and you're building your business and this Cancun card is going to build your business twice as fast because people want something of value when they join something. Yeah. Well Gerald I appreciate it thanks for taking the time I know you got uh, some excursions planned today or what, what are you doing this afternoon do you say you're going on a yacht? Yes we're going on a yacht to an island and we're going to have some fun and we're going to bring some of the top leaders and just enjoy ourselves and fellowship with each other and just get to know each other outside of the business. Well, that's good that's what life's all about you know uh, teamwork makes a dream work right? Exactly. Remember guys stay, stay strong work hard work with your team as Gerald said teamwork makes a dream work we'll see you next week.